Deborah, you own this art gallery. How involved was it to put a big show on like this? Well, this is the return of Alexander Renoir and the Impressionist, and the first show took two years. I normally have a mix of contemporary works in the gallery, but once a year, we honor the Impressionist because they were the original renegades. They were the contemporary artists. Well, Alex, this is so exciting to have your artwork here in Palm Beach. Tell me a little bit about what it was like to bring it all here. Well, it was very heavy. <laughs> you had to carry it, all of these pieces of art. No, it's, it's always been my pleasure, it's my honor to come here to present the art. Uh, mine, my great-grandfather's, some contemporaries, some friends and some family to show for the people, for sale, for, for enjoyment. When you think of your great-grandfather, what would you say would be his legacy? He used to have this saying, um, there was an argument uh, that he had with other artist friends is that there's enough ugly things in the world, why should he make more? And he refused to have it. That's one of the reasons why he hadn't used black in any of his paintings for a very long time. He always wanted to make happy scenes. It's something that affects you daily. You have to live with it, and that is his legacy, and it's something I strive to keep going. Uh, I'll tell you a little story if you don't mind. No, I love it. When he was much younger, um, the bicycle came out that had a chain, which meant you can go further, faster, and see more people and get more sold. He immediately broke his arm, his right arm, his painting arm. Oh my. So he switched to his left hand and there was no difference whatsoever in his style and technique. You're kidding. No, it was, it's an amazing dedication to the art that he had, which I strive to, to bring forward as well. When did you really find out that you had this ability to draw like this, paint like this? You've got to realize that in my family, this is, this is all very normal to me. As far back as I could remember, I was always painting or sketching or sculpting, but that was the family. I have a 600 book library of my ancestry and I thought everybody had one of those. It was a very interesting way to grow up because I was surrounded by full-size nudes of my great-grandmother. <laughs> uh, so you're on exhibit, exhibit today and you're going to be exhibiting your own work along with your great-grandfather's. Uh, mine and there's, we also have some Gauguin's, we have some uh, Morisot, we, we get so many pieces, La Roux which is a wonderful artist in his own right. My great-grandfather's work, wonderful, wow. wonderful stuff. We call this the, the friends and family show because mm -hmm. everyone somehow in this show, all the artists, past and present, had something to do with each other. Wow. So it's a wonderful thing to do. It's a wonderful thing to, to be part of.